So, Tracy, the next theme that you undertook is about hair, a multi-zillion dollar, billion dollar industry. And I know, as a Jewish woman, that I always had, before there were, you know, um, straighteners, I always had trouble with my hair until I went to Israel, and then they knew how to do Jewish hair. But black hair takes it to a new height. So you want to tell us a little bit about that? Well, in the black culture, hair is hair is huge for us. Um, we've gone through through history, afros, straightening hair, hot combs, relaxers, keratins. Now we've come to a point where we're beginning to embrace our natural hair. Or some people are actually choosing to, to go with having their heads completely shaven. I chose to do hair because, as I said, it's it's the gorilla in the room always with African Americans, and some women choose to straighten their hair now because, or some women, the, the wig industry is really big, you know, weaves. So I felt that was a really big topic because when I was younger, I was ostracized for from how I wore my hair, you know, my or or the just the the texture or the grade of hair that I had. I'll tell try to tell a quick story. I remember being in a playing with friends on the playground and there were two girls who were kind of bullying a couple of my friends so I you know I tried to come in and be you know make peace with everybody and the, the girl who was being the big bully said I don't know why you would come over here and I don't know who you think you are and it is it because you have nice hair and I'm like what we're all playing on the <laughs> I don't understand how my hair has anything to do with our trying to, to play together on the playground but at the age of that was about nine or ten you could see where it starts early, the whole problem and, and the insecurities we have about how our hair looks up against what society at that time thought of as good hair. So that was why I chose to have a, a large segment of hair and how far back it goes in our history. So let's go to video. your hair's gonna get tangled and go comb it, go brush it, go put it in a bun, go do something. She's from old school, grow, growing up in the 50s in the islands. Always have to have your hair done. Make my hair bounce like I, like I don't care. Make my, make my hair bounce when I put it in the air. We're at a cultural tipping point now where I feel like we are just tired of being told who we are and what we need to be. Today, Miss Annanique is doing a two-strand twist on my hair, which I love because um, it allows me to style it however I want. So I can put it in a mohawk, I can put it up in a bun, and then my favorite thing is, is I get to unravel them piece by piece. So I'm definitely a person that believes that, you know, that we're more than our hair. And I can't say that I felt any less black or connection to my people if I had a relaxer. I'm getting some lock maintenance and an updo. 